How's it going guys? Coming at you with a look slash review of this pack right here, which is the Racket 36 Covert Rifle Pack from VanQuest Gear. Uh, for those of you guys that uh, don't know what VanQuest Gear is, um, they produce a lot of really, really nice um, packs and pouches and all kinds of different, different pieces of kit. And uh, you can pretty much be rest assured that if it's VanQuest gear, um, it's going to be of the highest quality uh, materials and, and craftsmanship that you can get. Um, you know, really, that's that's essentially what it is, and they back up all their products. So if you guys are, are interested, um, I'm going to leave a link down below to the VanQuest gear, gear website so you guys can check them out. Uh, pretty much, yeah, they're awesome. If they if they have a, uh, a pouch or something like that that, uh, that fits your needs, it's going to be of the highest quality. So, But the uh, Racket 36 is a covert rifle pack. So what that means is, is it's going to be a rifle pack that's not, um, you know, super tactical. Um, so it's going to be more gray man. It's going to blend in. So where this where this pack really comes into play is um, in you know like areas where you're like densely populated or you've got close neighbors and uh, you don't want to you don't want your neighbors knowing that you're that you're transporting your AR-15 from your house to your vehicle or from your your vehicle to you know taking a walk down the road or whatever it's a it's a pack that uh, that could fit like a skateboard or like a like a, well, they call it the Racket 36 because it'd be like a racket ball rackets or tennis rackets, something like that. So, and there's a lot to be said by by being a little bit more discreet. And and this pack is definitely less cons conspicuous than like a tactical rifle case. So let's go ahead and start with some of the features here. Uh, you've got on the outside, you've got this uh, set of bungee cords, which re makes it really nice. So. You know, you can throw in a sweater, uh, you know, jacket, something like that in there and tighten it down. Uh, you know, throw a set of gloves in there, whatever you, you feel like. Uh, there's a little uh, thing, a hook and loop right here, so you can, you know, attach an identifying patch or uh, like your ID or something like that. Especially if you go to the range, um, that gives you uh, the ability to identify your, your pack. So this is made of, of 1000D Cordura, military grade Cordura. Uh, it has a Teflon coating, so you get that mild uh, water resistance there. Um, it has rubberized YKK zippers, which uh, keeps it from marring up any of your, your gear. Uh, and they're quiet as well, the zippers are quiet. All the stitching is done really, really well. You've got double stitching in, in places that it needs it. Uh, so everything's good. Let's flip it over here. We have uh, a little sweat sweat uh, dissipating uh, material right here. Um, one of the nice things is the shoulder strap here can be completely removed. Okay, so you can take the, the shoulder strap completely off. If we open up this little section right here, we've got hook and loop on the inside. So you can take this completely out and utilize this as like a concealed carry space, you know, throw extra mags in there. However you want to use this compartment, you can do that. Uh, so that's kind of a nice thing as well. So, but the, the but the uh, the shoulder strap comes off. You also have a waist belt uh, that can be completely removed as well, and it's a really really high quality buckle with it. Um, you have these handles here, which have a neoprene lining, which makes it really comfortable to carry. Uh, there is uh, you know carry handles here and carry handles here as well, so you can pretty much carry it in any configuration you'd like. I traveled with this pack over the Thanksgiving holiday uh, to go see some family, and I have it set up just kind of like how I, I set it up before I left. And uh, I didn't have it on the shoulder strap, I just kind of transported it from vehicle to wherever, and I just using the neoprene uh, um, handles, and they are really, really nice, actually. They're really, really comfortable. So we'll flip this back over here, and I'll show you this outside pack right here. So we have the outside, outside uh, pocket here, pouch. And uh, what I have set up as, I have it uh, with my uh, my Glock uh, 19 in here. And what's cool is it has these, these hook and loops that pretty much you can adjust them and configure them however you would like. Uh, here I've just got my Glock 19, okay, running in in this uh, this pouch here. And it's just running on, uh, I don't even know what brand this is, but it's just a, you know, just a hook and loop thing that I can I can throw the gun on and uh, keep it secure there. Uh, Vanquist Gear also offers a lot of really cool um, little add-ons here. So this is like a, a mag retention um, thing right there that uh, has the Velcro on the back. I've got two two of those in there. The pocket goes down, down all the way to the bottom here. So it goes down even further. So you can put you could probably line this thing with like seven or eight mags if you really wanted to. Uh, so you can configure this however you really, really would like. Um, up on top here, I've got uh, my Microtech uh, uh, SOCOM Elite. I'll just take it off here. 
Microtech Cellcom Elite with uh, a Glock 18 mag, so spare mag for, for the Glock itself. Uh, and that's on this little section of hook and loop right there, so you can just throw it on there however you'd like. There's a document pouch up top here as well, which is nice because, and it goes, it goes down in real deep as well, so there's some stuff, some original things for the uh, original tags for the actual pack. But what's nice about, um, oh, let me zip that back up. What's nice about that document pouch is that uh, you can, uh, for those of you guys that run NFI, NFA items like a silencer or SBR or something like that, you can throw your uh, NFA documents up there so you always have them with your with your uh, firearms. So that's kind of nice. Okay, so the in, the main compartment has these uh, these rubberized poles here, so it makes it opening the main compartment really easy. Okay, if we open it up here, um, what, what I've got running in here and right now is my Ruger AR556, okay? So AR556 carbine. All right, and what's cool is it has this little um, padded cone up top here that allows you to kind of, um, it, it covers, it protects the muzzle of the gun and keeps, keeps it uh, secure that way. It covers almost the entire um, uh, barrel. So the barrel's protected really, really nice. And you know, it's infinitely configurable. So like, let's, let's open this up. So as long as the rifle is less than 36 inches overall, it'll fit in this pack, which is really nice. The interior is lined with this, um, this uh, ripstop material, which is, which is nice, feels really good. Um, you can configure this however you'd like with different firearms. So you have four different sections for these little, uh, these little straps here on, on top and bottom. And then the, uh, the padded cone comes off as well, so you can move it up and down. So for instance, I have, this, uh, I have my CMR30 right here, okay? And this is in its collapsed, uh, collapsed state, right? So if I slide the, slide the muzzle in and just attach it to that section right there, then I can come in here and I can attach the buckles however I'd like, tighten them down, and then what's gonna happen is it's gonna, it's gonna hold it in place. And I can secure it even further with the, with the top strap as well as I can move this down even further, uh, open up the buttstock however I'd like. But, but what you're seeing though is you can see that it can be configured to just about any kind of, of firearm that you would like and uh, the CMR being a really, really compact version of that. But again, just a standard, a standard AR-15 will fit in there really, really nice, a standard carbine. So let me adjust it back up here and we'll throw the Ruger back up in there. Just, to, and just secure it up there, okay? All right, so there it is. So really, really nice uh, options to configure it. Carrying this around is going to be really comfortable. I haven't done a ton of carrying with it, but you know, going from vehicle to the house uh, with uh, with everything that you see in it um, is very comfortable. I can see myself carrying this for a long period of time without getting too fatigued. So that's a really really nice thing uh, for those of you guys that want to go hiking. Um, you know, kind of without having your rifle flashing. You know, for those of you guys that are riding motorcycles um, but yet want to be still be able to carry. Uh, uh, a rifle, this might be a really good option for you guys uh, carrying on a rifle on your back on the motorcycle without raising <laughs> raising alarms. A couple of things that uh, Vanquish Gear also offers to help customize this bag is like this Molly Air here, which is uh, a little Molly strips here that allow you to customize um, your pieces of gear. It's got your, your loop on the front and your hooks in the back, so it's Velcro. You can customize it to however you'd like. They also have another piece of kit, which is this configurable bungee, which uh, you can throw a trauma pack in there, a uh, first aid kit, uh, you can throw a pair of gloves in there, kind of however however you'd like, whatever you'd like to carry, uh, this also fits in there. So these are a couple of little options that'll help you customize the interior of, of your kit. You know, like uh, I have another little uh, pouch right here that's got uh, Velcro on the back. And uh, it's, just a, it's just a little pouch that I could throw like a cleaning kit in or something like that that I've used in the past with certain things. But uh, yeah, just pretty much whatever has a hook and loop will allow you to, you know, you can configure the inside of this uh, really, really well. Anyway, VanQuest Gear did a really good job on this uh, this pack, this rifle pack. And if you guys are interested in, you know, like more of a more of a low key way of transporting your firearms, you know, whether it's on a motorcycle, or whether it's from your house to your vehicle, or your vehicle to your office, or whatever you'd like, um, I definitely check out the uh, the Racket 36. I think it's just probably the nicest built case of its kind on the market for sure. 
And uh, yeah, this is a great, great, great piece of kit. This pack you're seeing right here, I'm gonna be giving away on my channel here. I'm probably gonna be doing it here in the next month. I was gonna do, I was gonna wait and give this away along with a package uh, uh, on a, a 50,000 subscriber giveaway, uh, but I'm kind of stalling out. Haven't been able to get to 50,000 subscribers yet. So, so when we when we actually get there, we'll do another giveaway. But uh, I'm gonna give this away here before Christmas, probably in next week or so. So, uh, pay, so look forward to. Uh, the giveaway on this this pack this pack it's a really really awesome pack and someone's gonna really enjoy it so uh, so yeah look forward to that but uh, if you guys have any questions or comments about anything you've seen on the on on this review I'll go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below if you guys own a, a racket 36 I'd love to hear uh, what you guys think about it it's it's a great pack don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Uh, Instagram's the place to be if you guys want to uh, see more of me outside of YouTube. Uh, I'm most active there on Instagram. Uh, hit that like button, guys, and uh, I really, really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.